Hey guys, and welcome to uh, another episode at uh, Farm on the Range. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing the John Deere Quick Connect coupler for the PTO shaft. Uh, there's a lot of different options out there uh, available on the market. This is the John Deere version. It just basically makes your PTO uh, a Quick Connect, so it's a lot easier to just pop in and out and change implements. The major difference between this and some of the other ones is this actually changes out this part of your PTO shaft, makes a stronger connection, doesn't make it as weak, and doesn't let it slip. So um, it's a little bit more of a permanent option than uh, some of the other stuff out there. But since I only basically right now I'm using it for the brush hog, it's no big deal. So I'm going to show you how to change out these pieces uh, and get this all connected since I don't see any other videos online. Uh, of how to do this or really of the John Deere quick connect. So uh, let's get to it So the first thing we want to do is we want to remove the plastic uh, Coverings that come on the PTO shaft over here um, This bit goes all the way up to here. It covers it. It's released by these white uh, Releases here and then it slides down the bottom the next thing you want to do is you see inside here on the actual PTO shaft, there's these snap rings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these snap rings on both sides, and then we're gonna punch out these caps. These are caps that hold this together. So we're gonna punch those out, and uh, then we'll replace them with the John Deere one right here. So you see where this goes is gonna replace this part here. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those snap caps, and I'll show you the next step. All right, guys, so what we've done is I've taken my trusty uh, socket wrench or socket and placed it over here, fits, and I tapped it with the hammer, pushing that through there. You see it's coming on out on the other side. So what you want to do is you want to remove these caps. These are just caps that sit inside. And they should just pop right. They should pop off. I feel that it's loose. I may have to give it a little more taps and then these caps will pop off. Now what's important is when you pop these caps off, the inside of them are gonna be filled with these like little pins, these little bearings inside. So you wanna be very, very careful that you don't lose those little bearings and those pins because you're gonna to wanna to put those back in, obviously everything back together when we put it in the, uh, in the new PTO uh, connector here for the John Deere. So we're gonna tap this out a little bit more, get this cap off, and we'll get that switched over and show you how to do that. All right guys, so right here, just gave it a couple more taps and you see that this cap comes right off. And you'll see inside that you're able to see, let's see, those bearings in there, you don't wanna lose those. So we're gonna be very careful. We're gonna place that there. And now this part, slides right on off. And now you got the connector for the PTO off of here and we can replace it with the John Deere part. All right, so just like we removed the last one, we're gonna guide this in here around and then this end goes right into this hole on the edge, right? So we're gonna guide those in. We're gonna put that cap back on on this side and then we're gonna tap it in and then she'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right guys, so we got it in and you see that they are at the position where those snap rings are gonna go right into the groove. There's a groove cut into there, same on this side. So we're just gonna go ahead and put the snap rings in, that way they don't come in or out and we're done. All right guys, so we've already, we got our snap rings in as you can see in there. So she's ready to go. What we're gonna do is before we put this uh, PTO shaft back together. We're gonna go ahead and since we have easy access to the grease points, we're gonna grease everything up, crease the shaft, get everything, do a little bit of uh, maintenance that we haven't done in a little bit. And then uh, we'll get the, uh, the cutter on the tractor and take a first spin. All right guys, so we went ahead and put everything back together, got everything nice and greased up. That's ready to go. Also came over here and installed the other half of the Quick Connect. So what you do is, what I did is I, I went ahead and just cleaned off the PTO anyway, wiped it all down, put some grease on it to keep it nice and healthy. Then this part slips right onto the PTO. And then this metal ring here is down and that's where it goes over that, 
that part where they usually the quick connect the the pto actually slides onto that sits there and then you have to push this back to lock it in place and now that's in there and it ain't going anywhere so now the other half of the pto quick connects just clips onto that slides right on and you're ready to roll so uh let's get that onto the uh the uh, brush cutter here and uh we'll be ready to roll all right guys so we got our part on the tractor we have our connector on our pto shaft shaft is back on the brush cutter this is slipped down so you can see what's going on here uh and all we got to do now is slip this right into our coupler here on the tractor and there you go she's in that's all it takes now all you got to do to remove this when it's time to go as you see this silver tab right here you just push down on that tab i'll just show you that you push down on that tab and it slides right back out and then that's it she's right back in so we'll put this back together here there we go and uh get her to work and we're off and rolling guys working perfect All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Farm on the Range. If you enjoyed this content, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on, uh, to the channel. Comment on the video if you have any questions about the John Deere Quick Connect PTO uh, attachment. Um, I always try to get to those. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for any other pieces of equipment uh, that uh, may be useful to me, I'm always uh, open to hearing them and seeing what, uh, what we could use out here uh, on the range. Uh, also, if there's anything that I have that I haven't talked about, uh, like the artillion uh, basket or the uh, the implements, the fourth, fifth uh, functions, the third functions, whatever it may be, uh, please feel free to comment and uh, I'll get right back to you guys. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.